Do I have <laughs> What? Thank you all for watching. That is the end of episode two, Smoke and Mirrors. Nah, no, I'm just kidding. Just started, but why is she alive? Oh god, I thought that was the actual end. Pretty crazy twist there. We all saw her die. Or maybe it was some kind of spell again? But I don't understand why Snow would need a spell. The Wolf Among Us. I could have been a little nicer to D, but he wasn't really cooperating, so... Hopefully we'll find out more about, um... What's going on here, since Snow is apparently alive. It's madness. Madness. Episode 2. Smoke and Mirrors. What was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I hope it was worth your time. Okay, you, you're gonna have to explain this, because I'm really not getting it yet. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy, but hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone. So I took care of it. Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're... Uh, not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way she looked just like me and maybe that's why she was killed ah if someone wants you dead at some point they'll realize they missed their target and they'll come looking for me we just have to find out who did this and why she was glamoured to look like me I mean that's what it is right so What's our next move? We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. Well then what did you mean? I told you I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. Boom. Well, I'm sorry. That's awkward. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too, you know. Myself. Right. Okay. Breaking point. So that was not snow we saw on the doorstep. It was someone that was supposed to be glamoured, or that was glamoured to look like her. 
And she's not looking for any kind of relationship, I guess. Fable Town Business Office, the Woodland Building, late afternoon. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. All right. Toad and TJ. Oh, that's enough. Uh, Mira, finish! Cancel! What the hell are you doing? Don't even get started with me, Sheriff. What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to give Tweedledee a good smack after what he put me through. But what you did to him was way over the bloody line. You scared the shit out of me, little boy. He saw everything! Okay, Mr. Toad. No! I want an explanation. And what did you expect to see? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. But I saw something worse, didn't I? <laughs> That's what? enough! Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now, we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. This ain't over, Big B. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Watch yourself, Big B. You do anything to hurt me, boy. It's okay. Are you okay? Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad, I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're okay. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. I thought I thought she was gonna pull me down too. <laughs> cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, part of my job is being able to tell when people are lying. I'm really good at it. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you! You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know. If anyone saw me, but but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? 
I didn't want to be in trouble. Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. They said... They said... Stop laughing at me. Do you know whose voice it was? No. <laughs> Sheriff. Did you see who it was? No. Bigby, he's frightened. All right, um... Okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. <laughs> Let's get you home. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. Okay. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? Let's do it. Yeah. Come on. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Okay, we're gonna investigate this dead body. Huzzah! We got all we can from Toad. Um, still didn't really uncover much, but at least we know the general area of where the body is. Witching well chamber, the woodland building. Oh, I thought we were going to look in the mirror. Never mind. Okay, can't really look at anything. So I guess I'm just going to have to... Oh. <laughs> wow. I didn't realize I've never seen her face before now. This is weird. Yeah. The glamour is so effective it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Looks just like Faith's did. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. Okay, gonna check out the last piece. The neck wound was the same. There might be a ribbon in her mouth, too. Ooh. Anything? Nothing. So, it's not exactly the same. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. I can look at something over here. Ah, okay. Here, this must be the cinder blocks. Rope marks. She was tied up. They tied cinder blocks to her ankles, so she would sink. Oh. Track marks. She used Monday drugs. Looks that way. Pretty heavily too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It might just be failing. Glamours don't just fail. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. 
Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Okay. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow, do you mind if I, uh, open her coat? Bigby, just let me do it. Still okay? I... Well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself up here, now that you're done smashing bottles on people. What have you found out? I haven't finished yet. Well, get on with it then. We can't waste too much time here. The killer might be preparing another attack as we speak. We should keep going. Okay. Let's search your pocket. What is that? It's your perfume. How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions okay lingerie are you wearing silk lingerie snow why do you want to know i'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact they're not I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. You may be right. One way to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. It's like Pandora's box. Oh, there we go. It's like those little pens that are all colorful. It's like a Rubik's pen. And we'll finish that. A deer. What does that mean? Oh. Donkey skin. Okay, seems to be stuck a little bit. Oh, okay, there we go. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think... This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Is this Snow's hair? Let me guess. It's my hair. Yeah. Pretty creepy. Who did this, Big Pete? The Pudding and Pie, The Bronx Evening.
She has the same ribbon as uh, Faith. Is it a sign? 